Hi, I'm Helen. I'm a doctor and a programmer. Um, I have a friend who is a trans woman, and she, every like three months, gets a letter saying, you haven't attended your NHS cycle screening program appointment. <laughs> so every three months, she is reminded that she's not a proper woman in the eyes of the NHS. Um, there are loads of other examples. I've talked to loads of people about this. And I just think we need to handle gender in a slightly more nuanced way. And for example, when a patient transitions in the eyes of the NHS, they get a new NHS number, and the records are not tied up, people need particular therapies from the organs that they have rather than the organs that are on their birth certificate. So I think if someone has a cervix, they should be on the screening program, and if they don't, they shouldn't. So I wonder if we can find some way of letting patients tell the NHS what organs they have and then we can screen them appropriately. Um, it's not always possible to opt out of these things, and my friend is getting very upset about this. That's the story.